In our previous video, we come to know a conditional statement and how to translate a simple sentence or statement into an if-then form. In this video, we will be discussing how to get the negation of a statement and its relationship in finding the inverse of a conditional statement. Just stick around, for in this video, we will also discuss the converse and the contrapositive of a given conditional statement. If you are new to this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I will journey with you in learning math lessons and concepts in an easy way. Conditional Statement and its Negation, Converse, Inverse, and Contrapositive after watching this video, you will be able to determine the negation, inverse, converse, and contrapositive of an if-then statement. And this would be our assessment. So kindly write the converse, the inverse, and contrapositive of the following statement in the comment section below. First statement, second statement, third statement, fourth statement, and the last statement. In this particular assessment, you may only choose one problem and write your answer in the comment section below. If we recall the conditional statement, it is represented by symbol if hypothesis then conclusion or if P then Q. So suppose we have the conditional statement, if two angles are linear pair, then they are supplementary. So this is the hypothesis then they are supplementary is a conclusion. Now, what is a negation? Negation is the writing the opposite of the statement. So, for example, two angles are linear pair. So, how do we write the opposite of the statement? So, our negation would be two angles are not linear pair. Example number two, x is equal to five. It's negation, x is not equal to five. So, the mathematical symbol for not equal to is this one. Example number 3. Y is greater than 4. So, its negation, Y should be less than 4. Or, it can be Y less than or equal to 4. Example number 5. Today is not Sunday. Since this statement is stated in a negative form, its negation, we will state the positive one. So, today is Sunday is our negation. What is a converse of a statement? The converse of an if-then statement or conditional statement can be done if we are switching the hypothesis and the conclusion. For example, in a conditional statement, the symbol is if P then Q, if hypothesis then conclusion. Our converse would be if conclusion then hypothesis so we're just switching the hypothesis to be the conclusion and the conclusion to be the hypothesis on its converse let's have example number five if two angles are linear pair then they are supplementary to determine its converse we just switch the conclusion and the hypothesis in our conditional statement two angles are supplementary would be our conclusion then they are a linear pair would be our hypothesis. So our converse would be, if they are supplementary, then the two angles are a linear pair. Example number six, if the number is even, then the number is divisible by two. So again, the converse, if the number is divisible by two, then the number is even. So again, this conclusion would be our hypothesis and the number is even is our conclusion. Now, what is the inverse of an if-then statement? The inverse of an if-then statement is the negation of the hypothesis and the conclusion. If the conditional statement would be if P, then Q, now our inverse would be if not P, then not Q. If not hypothesis, then not conclusion. Now, let's have example number seven. If the number is even, then the number is divisible by 2. In its inverse, we will just negate the hypothesis. So the number is even, its negation is the number is not even. 
For the hypothesis, the number is divisible by 2. Its negation, the number is not divisible by 2. So this is the inverse of this conditional statement. Example number 8. If today is Sunday, then I will not go to school. The inverse, so we will negate the hypothesis. So our hypothesis is today is Sunday. Its negation is today is not Sunday. The conclusion is I will not go to school. So its opposite is I will go to school. So our inverse is if today is not Sunday, then I will go to school. Example number 9. If the figure does not have three sides, then it is not a triangle. So it's inverse. Our hypothesis, the figure does not have three sides. It's negation. The figure has three sides. It is not a triangle. It's negation. It is a triangle. So therefore, the inverse of this conditional statement would be, if the figure has three sides, then it is a triangle. What is contrapositive? The contrapositive is the negation and switching of the hypothesis and conclusion of a conditional statement. Negation is the inverse. Switching is the converse. That is why the contrapositive is the combination of inverse and converse of a conditional statement. So, if our conditional statement would be, if P, then Q. Now, its contrapositive is, if not Q, then not P. So, we switch the conclusion to be the hypothesis. The hypothesis would be the conclusion. At the same time, we will negate the new hypothesis and also negate the new conclusion. Example number 10. If the number is even, then the number is divisible by 2. So it's contrapositive. So the number is even would be our hypothesis in the conditional statement. This could be our new conclusion in the contrapositive. However, this statement will be negated. So that is why our conclusion in the contrapositive statement is the number is not even. Our conclusion in the conditional statement is the number is divisible by 2. Now, its negation to make it a new uh, hypothesis in the con contrapositive statement, the number is not divisible by 2. So, this is our contrapositive in this conditional statement. The switching, we call it as the converse. And the negation, we call it as the inverse. Example number 11. If today is Sunday, then I will not go to school. So, the contrapositive, if I will go to school, then today is not Sunday. Our hypothesis is today is Sunday. This would be our conclusion being negated. Today is not Sunday. Our hypothesis in the conditional statement, I will not go to school. Its opposite is I will go to school. And this would be our hypothesis in the contrapositive statement. Now, let's summarize the different forms that we have just discussed. So, the conditional statement, the if-then form. If P, then Q. If hypothesis, then conclusion. Now, it's converse. We switch. Now, if Q, then P. This is the switching. And it's inverse. We negate the a hypothesis and the conclusion so therefore the symbol for the inverse if not p then not q and this is the negation for the contrapositive we switch at the same time we negate so if p then q so in our contrapositive if not p then not q so this is switching and negation now, in this particular statement, we'll be asked to find the converse, the inverse, and the contrapositive of the given conditional statement. First, if you are a guitar player, then you are a musician. So, it's converse. If you are a musician, then you are a guitar player. So, we switch the hypothesis and the conclusions. For the inverse, we will negate the hypothesis and also negate the conclusion. So therefore, our inverse would be, if you are not a guitar player, then you are not a musician. For the contrapositive, we switch and we negate. So if you are not a musician, 
then you are not a guitar player. Next example. If it is a cheese, then it contains calcium. A converse. If it contains calcium, then it is a cheese. So by switching the hypothesis and conclusion. For the inverse, we will negate the hypothesis and the conclusion. So if it is not a cheese, then it does not contain calcium. For the contrapositive, we switch and negate. So if it does not contain calcium, then it is not a cheese. Example number 14. If today is Sunday, then I will not go to school. In getting the converse and the inverse and the contrapositive, we can change the wording of the statement so that we can read the statement smoothly or it follows correct grammar. So for the converse, if we switch this conclusion to be our hypothesis, so if I am not going to school, then today is a Sunday. It's inverse, we will negate the hypothesis and also the conclusion. So the inverse, if today is not Sunday, then I will go to school. For its contrapositive, we will switch and negate. The opposite of I will not go to school is if I am going to school, our new hypothesis. The opposite of today is Sunday would be our new conclusion is today is not Sunday. So our contrapositive then is if I am going to school, then today is not Sunday. After learning all the techniques in finding the converse, the inverse, and the contrapositive of the conditional statement, now it's your time to measure your understanding of the lesson. You will be asked to find the converse, the inverse, and contrapositive of the following statement. If the animal is a bird, then it has feathers. If the baby cries, then the baby does not eat. If two angles are vertical, then they are congruent. If I feel hot, then I'll take a bath. And lastly, if you will not study hard, then you will fail. Now, in the comment section, kindly write your answers in these particular questions. And you may only choose one among of these problems. I hope you learned something new today. See you in our next video. Thank you for finishing this video. If you learned something new today, kindly smash that like button. And in the comment section, kindly send me your thoughts about this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and share this video so that I will be able to continue to journey with you in learning math lessons in an easy way. See you in our next video. Thank you for watching.